Tabletop games are difficult to talk about. They aren't like video games or movies where I can show something and go, here's the good part. The level of enjoyment I get out of any tabletop game or its mechanics depend on how it's played with me and my friends, which can drastically differ from group to group from day to day. So instead of talking about why I like or hate a certain tabletop game, I'm going to talk about a tabletop accessory. Do you like Exalted? I sure do. But did you know its current iteration is in its third edition, and that there is, in fact, a first edition published by White Wolf? The least popular edition from what I could find seems to be the first one, released in 2001 and quickly replaced by the second edition in 2006, when White Wolf realized that trying to connect the dots between the story of Exalted and the World of Darkness setting made no fucking sense. During this window of Exalted's first edition, there was this excellent making of Exalted booklet that initially came with special editions of the core book and later issued separately. Uh, this book is a good look into how all the concepts within the game were made, but the important thing is that it came with a CD-ROM. I'm not going to make a joke about remember when CD-ROMs were a thing, because at least someone else remembers. When you pop this thing into the disc tray, you had to buy separately because the PC market is a scam, you get some fun goodies to check out. A readme stating the requirements of what's contained. Aww, 64 megs of RAM. An archived HTML file of the Exalted website, a making of Exalted video, two songs, and another thing, I'll get to it. The website is incredibly cool, containing downloads for a flash animation, promotional material, a quick start, a map of the world, and so on. A lot of this has been saved to the internet archive already in the Wayback Machine, but being able to access this from a CD is a magical experience. The making of Exalted video is straightforward and mostly just recaps or rephases things from the booklet. And then when I turned the manuscript into review, Steve had called me into his office. I thought I was, you know, being called onto the carpet for something I had done in terms of the design. And then he said, no, 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 these need kung fu, you know, these need kung fu move names. And I uh, oh, okay. Um, I, you know, I had tried to avoid that kind of thing. Oh my. The two songs are okay, I guess. The music and movie are all archived on Onyx Path's YouTube channel. If you look up Exalted CD-ROM, you'll find them all easily. Chances are, if you've come to see this video, you've seen all of this before. I mean, Exalted CD-ROM doesn't yield much in terms of search results. But there is something the CD-ROM has that's unique. Nothing ever archived before. But before I show that, this video is sponsored by Exalted Flat Earth. Hi, do you think the Earth is flat? Well, you're wrong. Do you think it's round? Then you're a globehead of darkness. Scientists want you to believe the Earth was always a globe, but did you know it was once flat and called creation? The Scarlet Empress the would like to have sub a has yet to be the NWO choose the to realm. believe in the creation the gods forgot. This CD-ROM hides within its data a character sheet generator. That's right. You can make your own character sheets within the program. Normally you had to either print off or photocopy the sheet from the back of the book and draw everything yourself, but with this you can do it all on the computer. Today we have editable PDFs, but that doesn't really compare to an entire software made specifically for making character sheets. To test out its functionalities, I'm going to make a character named Kimiko, which is a character that I made in the third edition as a dragon blooded, and since this is a demo of the character generator and only makes solar characters, this is going to be a little weird, but whatever, it's fine. When you first boot up the CD, you get. <laughs> When you first boot up the CD, you get the White Wolf logo in its glorious small vision. Uh, unfortunately, because this was made in 2001, the whole software is in small vision. While this does offer character creation, you can also save your characters, as well as the ability to print off the sheets, which we will get to. Putting in the dots is a little weird. All of the different pools that you have available are automatically allocated for you. So you don't have to select that this is my favored attribute. You just put the dots in and then it assumes that's what it is. So if you happen to do them in the wrong order, then the game gets confused and starts spending your bonus points. So you do have to kind of adapt for that, which I didn't expect. Ah yes, Exalted First Edition's abilities, where they were sectioned off into casts for some reason. Now, as my character was a dragon-blooded, uh, the stats for the solar casts and the dragon-blooded aspects don't really line up, so <sighs> that's my fault more than the program's fault, and it's not even really an addition thing, that's more of a just character types that don't really match, but 
that's okay. I may do. So, when you get into charms, this is the thing that everyone hates. Holy fucking shit! They actually just put just as many charms as they could into this software. I'm amazed. I thought for sure there was just going to be type in your own thing here, but they actually put in all of the charms, what they do, their prerequisites. That's amazing. I don't really think I've anything made today compares. Drop down lists on editable PDFs, I guess, is as close as you can get, but th that's not nearly this much information. Holy shit, they even have all of the weapons here, too. So, with everything done, I just had to print. Oh, I have to select the printer. Why is it so dusty? <laughs> what? To compare, I have this exalted sidereal sheet that I printed off from a first edition PDF that I own, and it did not print very clearly. I think that's mostly a problem of the PDF quality that I had, but it printed off incredibly cleanly, even compared to this third edition sheet that I have, which the logo is a little sunburned on it. The first edition sheet printed incredibly well. The text is all clear. You can read everything on it that's even just typed out by me, not even like sheet specific stuff. I'm impressed 2001 White Wolf. Now unfortunately I don't incredibly know how to archive this software. If I could upload it to the internet archive and have it a workable version available, I would, but I do not know how because as of right now the only way I can figure out how to get it to run is with the CD-ROM in the tray, and I have no knowledge of how to change that, so the fortunate thing is that the CD is not exactly expensive to get. I got the CD with the booklet for $15 on eBay, and the CD alone runs about that much, but with the booklet I think that's a little harder to find. But yeah, if you have the know-how, I encourage you please to find a CD of your own and to please edit it to run without the disc and to put it up on the Internet Archive because this is an incredible piece of history that, unless you search for it, you won't be able to ever see again. Ignore that, please. Please. Yeah, to close out, Paradox, I challenge you to make a software like this for Vampire V5 and Onyx Path. I challenge you to make a software like this for Exalted 3rd Edition, and please include more than just Solars this time. Thanks for watching.